Seven NATO countries, $21 billion in orders, all waiting for one decision. February 2025, Saab executives walked into confidential Ottawa meeting carrying one proposal. Canada doesn't just buy gripens, Canada manufactures them, exports them, becomes the Western Hemisphere's gripen factory. The offer, complete technology transfer, manufacturing rights, export licenses to any NATO member. The projection, 178 aircraft sold to NATO allies over eight years, $20 billion in revenue, 40,000 Canadian jobs, and Pentagon's fighter monopoly shattered. This meeting actually happened. Details leaked to defense journalists in March 2025. Canadian government denied official involvement, but couldn't deny Bombardier Saab discussions occurred. Here's what leaked next. U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency circulated classified assessment in April titled Canadian Fighter Manufacturing Partnership – Strategic Implications. Their conclusion, Canadian Gripen manufacturing represents greater long-term threat to U.S. defense industrial position than any competitor system. Translation, Pentagon fears Canadian Gripens more than Russian Su-57s or Chinese J-20s because those don't steal NATO customers. Canada's fighter decision comes in 2026 six months away. If Canada chooses Gripen with manufacturing partnership, seven NATO countries are ready to place orders immediately. Let me show you exactly which seven countries, how much they're spending, and why this one Canadian decision could trigger the biggest NATO procurement transformation in 50 years. The seven countries already lined up. First, here's your value. The seven NATO countries ready to buy Canadian Gripens the moment production begins. Country number one, Poland, 48 aircraft, $6 billion already bought 32 F-35s, needs 100-plus fighters total. Official defense documents outline high-low mix strategy, expensive F-35s for high-intensity combat, affordable fighters for routine operations. Canadian Gripen solves political problem. Polish government tells voters, buying from NORAD partner, maintaining alliance solidarity, opposition collapses, order timing, 12 to 18 months after Canadian production announcement, Country number two, Greece, 24 aircraft, $3 billion ordered 20 F-35s, need 60 plus total to replace aging F-16 and Mirages. Budget crisis makes more F-35s impossible. January 2025, quote from Greek Defense Minister, evaluating all options for remaining requirement. Translation, F-35, too expensive, desperately seeking alternatives. Canadian gripe in timing, 18 to 24 months after production begins. Country number three, Romania, 24 aircraft, $2.8 billion flying Soviet MiG-21s. Desperate replacement situation, F-35, completely unaffordable. November 2024, Romanian officials visited Czech Republic to evaluate their Gripen program. That visit signals serious intent. Timing, 24 months after Canadian announcement. Country number four, Bulgaria, 16 aircraft, $2 billion, same situation as Romania, aging MiG-20, limited budget, F-35 impossible. Country number five, Philippines, 18 aircraft, $2.5 billion, evaluating fighters for South China Sea defense, F-35 offered but unaffordable. Canadian Grapen provides perfect solution, North American ally manufacturing, affordable price. Country number six, Chile, 24 aircraft, $2.8 billion, F-16 aging, evaluated Gripen previously, but hesitated over European supply chain concerns. Canadian manufacturing eliminates that concern entirely. Country number seven, Colombia, 12 additional aircraft, $1.4 billion, already ordered 18 Gripens from Sweden, 2025. Once Canadian production online, orders additional aircraft from closer supplier with faster delivery. Total within 36 months, 166 aircraft worth $20.5 billion. These aren't projections. These are documented procurement needs matching available Canadian supply. The buyers exist. The demand exists. Only missing piece. Canadian decision to proceed. The 2017 meeting that almost triggered this. Now let me show you why this isn't fantasy. Because it already almost happened once. November 2017, Bombardier Executives, Saab Officials, four-hour technical meeting in Stockholm. Topic, Manufacturing Gripens in Canada. Proposal details, Saab transfers complete technology. Bombardier establishes Mirabelle production. Canadian content grows from 20% 
to 60% over decade, creates 12,000 direct jobs. Both sides agreed, technically feasible, financially viable, ready to proceed. Then Bombardier made fatal error, called Pentagon requesting export license approval for American components, GE F414 engines, certain avionics. Pentagon response killed everything. We strongly advise against non-US fighter programs. Could impact your other defense contracts. Bombardier held $800 million annually in F-35 work. Pentagon's message was clear. Build gripens. Lose everything. Bombardier backed out within 24 hours. Partnership died. Opportunity lost. But here's what changed between 2017 and 2025. Czech Republic proved in 2023 you can choose Gripen without consequences. NATO member facing Russia selected Gripen over F-35. Zero retaliation. Zero punishment. U.S.-Czech relationship unchanged. Pentagon's fear weapon. The threat of retaliation evaporated. February 2025 meeting represents revival. Same partnership. Same technology transfer. Different calculation. Czech precedent proved you can choose differently safely. If Canada proceeds this time, everything changes. The leaked Pentagon assessment that reveals their fear. March 2025. U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency circulates classified assessment to Pentagon leadership and White House. Title: Canadian Fighter Manufacturing Partnership Strategic Implications April 2025 Portions leak to breaking defense Key findings Canadian Gripen manufacturing capability would create viable non-U.S. supply chain for NATO fighters, fundamentally altering alliance procurement dynamics. Projected impact 150 to 200 Canadian Gripen exports to NATO members over 10 years, representing 18 to 25 billion dollars in lost U.S. defense sales. Strategic concern: Canadian manufacturing eliminates primary political barrier, European dependency, that currently drives cost-conscious NATO members toward U.S. systems. Assessment conclusion: Recommend maximum diplomatic pressure to ensure Canada selects F-35. Canadian Gripen manufacturing represents greater long-term threat to U.S. defense industrial position than any competitor system, including Russian or Chinese alternatives. Read that last line again. Pentagon fears Canadian Gripens more than Su-57s or J-20s. Why? Russian Chinese fighters don't steal NATO customers. Canadian Gripens do. This leaked assessment explains everything happening in Canada right now. Why U.S. Ambassador makes threatening public statements about alliance commitments why $14.2 million in Lockheed Martin lobbying over nine years, why Pentagon applies unprecedented pressure on closest ally. They're not fighting for 88 Canadian aircraft worth $10 billion. They're fighting to prevent NATO supply chain revolution worth $200 plus billion over 30 years. The economics that make this irresistible. Now let me show you numbers that should convince any Canadian government this is opportunity of generation. Initial investment required. Technology licensing from Saab, $2 billion facility establishment, Mirabel retrofit, $1.5 billion, training programs, $300 million, supply chain development, $800 million, testing infrastructure, $400 million, total upfront, $5 billion. Sounds expensive, but watch what happens. Returns over eight years, export revenue, 166 aircraft times $115 million average equals $19.1 billion. Government tax revenue, $3.5 billion from corporate employment taxes. Economic activity multiplier, additional $4 billion. Total returns, $26.6 billion. Employment impact, direct aerospace jobs, 16,000. Bombardier, CAE, Pratt & Whitney Canada, Magellan, IMP, 180 plus suppliers, indirect induced employment, 24,000 total, 40,000 permanent jobs, strategic benefits, Canada's own 88 Gripens cost $14.5 billion, export revenue of $19.1 billion means Canada's fighters paid for entirely by exports, with $4.6 billion profit, technology spillovers to commercial aviation sector, defense industrial independence from U.S. control, aerospace sector growth competing globally with U.S. or Europe. Bottom line, $5 billion investment returns, $26.6 billion revenue, plus 40,000 jobs, plus strategic independence. That's 532% return on investment, not cost. Investment, extraordinary investment. Why Pentagon can't stop this anymore? 
Here's critical difference between 2017 failure and 2025 opportunity. 2017 Pentagon Leverett, choose Gripen and lose F-35 contracts, worked because no NATO member had proven you could defy Pentagon without consequences. 2025 Reality Check, Czech Republic proved otherwise. NATO member, borders Russia, faces direct threat, full US intelligence access, should have been guaranteed F-35 customer, chose Gripen anyway. 2023 announcement, Pentagon response, zero retaliation, zero punishment, US-Czech relationship unchanged, Czech Republic remains NATO member in good standing, Pentagon's current limitations, cannot block GEF-414 engine exports, Czech Republic already receives them, blocking Canada means blocking Czech, creating NATO crisis, cannot economically punish Canada, NORAD partner, NATO member. Retaliation damages U.S. more than Canada. Cannot prevent sovereign NATO nations from buying Canadian gripens. Each procurement is sovereign decision. Pentagon can only apply diplomatic pressure. We're disappointed in Canada's decision. Offer F-35 price discounts to target countries. But math still favors gripen even discounted. Increase lobbying. But Czech precedent eliminated fear factor. Czech Republic proved the template. Choose gripen. Face no consequences. Maintain alliance standing. If Canada follows Czech example, Pentagon cannot stop the cascade. Breaks American monopoly. Creates $19 billion opportunity. Provides NATO allies politically acceptable. F-35 alternative. Generates 40,000 Canadian jobs. Pays for Canada's own fighters through exports with profit. Pentagon cannot stop this through traditional pressure. If Canada prioritizes economics and sovereignty over American approval. The evidence. Brazil proved manufacturing model works. Canada has superior aerospace capabilities. Seven NATO countries are documented buyers with budgets allocated. Czech Republic proved choosing Gripen carries zero retaliation. February 2025, Saab Bombardier meeting proves discussions active. Leaked DIA assessment proves Pentagon panicking. All pieces in place. Decision comes 2026. Two possible outcomes. Outcome one, Canada chooses F-35 under pressure. American monopoly continues. Opportunity lost. 40,000 jobs never created. $19 billion revenue never captured. NATO allies remain dependent on US supply chains. Outcome two, Canada chooses Gripen with manufacturing. Seven NATO countries place orders within 36 months. American monopoly shatters. Canadian aerospace sector transforms. Pentagon watches helplessly as NATO procurement dynamics shift permanently. Six months until we discover which future unfolds. The meeting happened. The leaked assessment is real. The seven buyers are documented. The economics are overwhelming, only unknown. Does Canada have political courage to seize generational opportunity? Hit that like button and subscribe for updates when Canada announces decision, because that choice determines whether this remains fascinating analysis or becomes the geopolitical earthquake nobody saw coming. Canadian Gripen manufacturing and NATO exports. Seven countries waiting, $20 billion at stake. Pentagon's nightmare, Canada's opportunity, six months until the world finds out.